hello viewers welcome back this is the part 9 of how to model a cartoon character using autodesk maya in the previous video we worked with the um, shoe of the character and in this video we'll try to finish the shoe and then we'll start working with the hand of the character so let's get started so so far we have uh, made up to this point of the show now what do we need to do here you can see in the reference image there are lots of pattern and design and in the previous video i showed you some um, how to make it but since this character is not that much detailed and uh, we do not need that much detail in character in this character so i am not working with them i will use texture instead uh, of modeling them so let's make the shoe lace button of this shoe and then we'll work with the lace of the shoe so okay first we go to the front view here you can see all the shoe laces so we need one two three four five and six six uh, button here so we will go to the poly model and here you can see uh, polygon torus and we will make this polygon torus and let's go to the input and change its radius make it uh, like 0.3 and radius of one is okay i think and subdivision axis and height reduce it we will need six eight i think eight is good enough okay eight is good now scale it go to the front view and let's place it in and here scale it let's go to the side view and move it scale it a little bit more and place it in here then now go to the perspective view rotate it so that it touches with the main mesh of the shoe and rotate it a little bit in z direction okay looks good now duplicate it and put it put another one in the opposite side okay and now again duplicate and make another one and put one in here
and now rotate it Okay, I think it looks good. Let's go to the top view and see. Let's check if they are lined up properly or not. I think we need to move them a little bit. Okay. and now duplicate and put it in the opposite side and rotate it Okay, I think it looks good so far. And we need four more. So again, duplicate them and move them. just rotate a little bit okay this looks good and let's move this one Okay. So three we have uh, we made three button and we need another three. So let's keep doing the same thing we did. So again I'm duplicating another button and placing it accordingly. Here you can see I'm trying to hide half of the mesh under the main shoe geometry so that uh, it blends with the main geometry and doesn't feel uh, doesn't lo uh, look like uh, a separate mesh. And also have to be careful about the distance between this button. Uh, try to keep the distance as, as much uh, close as possible because... Okay. Let's rotate this one a little bit and move it forward.
and move it upwards a little bit and then backwards and now mm, now duplicate this button and put it in the opposite side move it forward a little bit and rotate it a little bit okay looks good go to the front view and check if everything looks good or not here you can see they are not in the same line this one is a little bit down so I'm moving it a bit upwards and this one a little bit upwards now we have four button and I think we need two button one in here and another one in here so again duplicate this button and move it upwards and backwards of it go to the perspective view and let's check I think it looks good I do not need to rotate it now duplicate this one or I may delay duplicate from this side and move it upwards and go to the perspective view okay so we have five button paste and let's move this one a little bit upwards okay i think that now it looks even and we need to put another button so let's duplicate again and move it and now rotate it a little bit bring it forward ok I think it looks good so far yes and now then duplicate this one and rotate it ok 
Okay, so we have uh, placed all the six button on both sides. Now we need the lace of the shoe. So let's save up to this point. And let's rename this bars. First, we are deleting the history and modify and freeze transformation in them so that if by mistake we move any part, we can place them to the original position by uh, changing the translate xyz to 0. So now we need the thread for. Uh, for this show so we can make it in different way let's go to the um, either we can use the carve tool or we can manually uh, place thread in here by moving the polygon uh, so let's try the polygon option i'm not using the curve tool here so here you can see we have polygon cylinder let's take a polygon cylinder and change the input to maybe 12 or maybe 8 Let's change the subdivision axis to 8 and radius. Let's change the radius to 0 0.03. Okay, now you can see how the threads are. Uh, fitted in the shoe in the reference image and let's go to the front view and rotate this one to 90 degree and let's put subdivision height Five, 5 subdivision height or maybe not 5 maybe 6 ok and let's reduce the size a little bit so 1.8 maybe and we need let's change it to 1.5 or 1.4 i think 1.4 is 3 1.3 is the perfect shape now select this vertex move it a little bit this two from both sides and move move them a little bit upwards and now rotate it
okay and also rotate this one let's move it a little bit upwards and move it here and space up a little bit here you can see now if we make it smooth you can see it's a good looking lace and let's scale it a little bit make it we uh, make the width a little bit more and height a little bit less that way you can have a good thread and now what we'll do we'll duplicate this one then move it backwards and let's go to the top view and rotate it from the top view and rotate them and move them so that they matches with the original mesh so I'm, now you can see I'm rotating and moving them and let's move it a little bit downwards and a little bit side okay now you can see we have a much better thread now and now duplicate this part again and just make the negatives positive negative x to positive x and this way we can get the and now translate it and go to the component mode and press it so you can see another thread is created and I think we do not need this one we can rotate this one Okay, let's check first.
and now duplicate this one again and move it and place it accordingly and i will not show the rest of the threads you in this video I, I have already showed you how you can do it so keep repeating this process one in here and one in here and one in here and one in here and that way uh, you will be able to get this exact design so i am stopping this video in here and hopefully I will see you in the next video. So, goodbye guys.